Hi, welcome to Pixelmania.in. Uh, in this weekly tutorial, we're gonna see how uh, we can convert a normal photograph into uh, a normal photograph that you shot in a studio or anywhere where uh, to convert into a stock ready photograph uh, using Lightroom. I've been experimenting with Lightroom and I found some really great techniques. It's pretty much easy. Uh, just to uh, bump up stuff and make it really good uh, here's a shoot which I recently did with the uh, flowers and these are all the um, images that I've shot um, today I want to show you how to convert um, a normal image which is like this by the way, uh, to switch between uh, grid view and uh, the enlarge view, it is G for grid view and E for the enlarge view. The image that you are selected will enlarge. Uh, as you see, both these images are almost similar. It's just that uh, over here, if you see in the navigator, it just changes a bit here and there. Uh, I found this to be really good. This will be soon uh, uploaded at uh, pixelmania.in for free. If you could see here, <coughs> there are a lot of uh, stock quality images which are available for free. You can use it uh, uh, in commercial purpose also and there's absolutely no copyrights uh, involved in this. It's free for you. Uh, you can download anything. So now uh, without wasting much time, let me just jump into it. I'm gonna go to develop or you can uh, press D to go to develop um, I think I would uh, require a little bit of contrast uh, before that there's a beautiful way usually you go to contrast to do this but then uh, I'm just gonna reset it to zero and then I'm gonna use clarity if you see clarity you can see the actual quality the way it increases uh, when I use this and it's gives you a very good dramatic effect as I control this this is my go-to tool all the time when I play with photographs and this pretty much gives me the real effect that I wanted uh, this is so cool so let me just set it at 65 uh, and then I scroll down to details I see if there is green the best way to see is this kind of areas where there's uh, lighter shade and a darker shade and you can see there is grains there so I go to noise reduction and then I raise it and, and uh, again you can see as I raise and lower how the uh, grains change so I'm gonna just keep it over there and what actually noise reduction does is it smooths down the image if I go in you can see it's it has smoothened down the image uh, it hasn't got much of a detail now so I'm gonna bump up the detail a bit so that I get those details back it might not be visible but it is there believe me it is there uh, not exactly in this photograph but you will actually find it um, in other photographs that you were which has lots of different contrast so uh, that looks pretty much it uh, but then I would like to play a little bit with the uh, uh, split toning it's cool uh, when you actually want to give you know this kind of an antique feel uh, to the photograph so I'm just gonna uh, go to the yellow tone and then reduce the saturation a bit to see which is the correct point this looks too wide this looks too yellowish so I'm just gonna keep it as somewhere at 30 um, and then you can switch on and switch off to see how it has impacted it I think this is pretty much good um, now you can highlight the shadows um, the shadows are basically this area this area or these areas which uh, actually uh, have shadows in that you can change the color you can usually leave it at gray which is this or you can you know uh, change a bit uh, I like the green tone it's <coughs> this split toning is actually crazy it's it's absolutely crazy it's super good I really love this 
but uh, you should not over use it uh, especially for stock photography don't please overuse uh, split turning otherwise you are bound to spoil the image uh, which people will not uh, love buying it they would like to do their uh, their own uh, toning o over it but you can give them a startup that's why so I've just made uh, just this much of uh, changes in it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just quickly process this image uh, so that I can go to Photoshop and correct uh, little uh, problems here and there and uh, make it you know look like a really good flower so I wanna show you those things also in this uh, in less than five minutes I wanna finish this up and show it to you how fast you can get a really good uh, uh, photograph let me just go here and see let me create a folder it's good to manage your photographs with the proper folder structure it really helps uh, you to track especially when you're working with tons and tons of photographs at that too when you're working in the stock photography site where you mix and match so many combinations of photographs concepts and everything so usually people go with tiff but then tiff gives you a bigger file size and it just eats up your hard disk one photograph is almost like 800 MB and so so I prefer going with PSD 16 bit it's good 350 pixels is good uh, nothing much of a change so it's exporting right now you can see here it has started exporting it takes a little bit of time depending upon the size of the image because this has a uh, little bit of color information okay it's processed now let me just quickly open this in Photoshop and show you how it is done what is happening uh, here 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 <coughs> So here we are in Photoshop. It's always advisable to uh, take a make a, a copy of your original image. So I'm just going to press Control J to make a copy of the background layer, and then zoom in, and then use your uh, this is tool. I keep using it often, but then I don't remember its name. Okay, Patch Tool. You use Patch Tool to start. Uh <coughs> taking out the imperfections in your flower it's highly impossible to get the fresh flower even even, a, even if you go to the orchid and you know you pick up the uh, flower directly from the place where it is grown still uh, flowers do have imperfections and you know stock photography is like the most perfect photograph it has to be the most perfect photograph because agencies download them for their purpose and they don't want uh, imperfections in uh, any of the photographs that they download so I'm just gonna correct them real real fast <coughs> by the way uh, with patch tool you should remember not to you know you should always follow the uh, shade for example here it goes from light shade to a darker shade so if I am going to put this over here though it does not create a uh, you know any perfection Photoshop is such an advanced tool that, that it does not create an imperfection it's still not the right way of doing it uh, so always keep the same gradient uh, tone when you are moving your uh, uh, patch tool around so quickly I'm just gonna finish this up uh, again there is a trick um, when you're actually moving the image you cannot just go here uh, and drag and drop uh, the patch tool so uh, which will create an imperfection so if you're doing something like that I'm just gonna pick it up and then go on the same line and then throw it there fine it will make it uh, look perfect same goes here for example I'm just gonna select the section I'm just gonna move it a little bit and leave it over there uh, so it might feel like it's broken but then on a larger picture you just don't know which is uh, uh, correct way <coughs> correct shape of the flower or uh, wrong shape of the flower so it's perfectly fine few more uh, problems here and there now for the bigger ones let's try another tool I don't know if it will exactly work here but uh, I think it might so once you have selected just click on your excuse me sorry 
click on your marquee tool and then uh, lasso tool sorry and then right click on it and go and say fill and remember to say content aware and then say ok Ta-da! it actually uh, takes it it analyzes the area around the image and then fixes up that place for you so um, most of the time this does a very good job uh, if it doesn't you can just press ctrl z undo the changes and then uh, do it for yourself uh, what has happened here is a water droplet has uh, stayed here and then the light has uh, flashed on top of it which has created th this really bad looking uh, uh, patch here so I'm just gonna do the same I'm gonna shift to laser tool select this area be careful to not go out of the area and then right click fill content aware boom it's gone now you can go to your patch tool and remove these two things and the rest of the other uh, imperfections and then make it as a, a really good flaw Uh, you could see the streaks of lines here uh, this is actually because of uh, overuse of the noise tool uh, you cannot bump your noise to always 100% remember that I, I, I deliberately made this mistake so that I can explain uh, this problem to you never bump your noise level in uh, Lightroom to 100% what, see what I've done here uh, never do this uh, always try to keep it inside the limit uh, move around your pointers to different areas and see how it has affected that area and try to play uh, again with it to see uh, how it changes the noise patterns uh, it's really helpful so keep doing that it's all about trying uh, so many different combinations and you will uh, actually find your sweet spot as you do it so I just don't want to bore you with more of this stuff I'm gonna uh, take some time in correcting few images then uh, duplicating the droplets and placing them here and there so I'll show you uh, I'll add a link to the YouTube video uh, to show you how the final image looks oh this one is bad this one is really bad let me just fix this one the end I'll fill. I hope it fixes. Yes, it does. So I'm just gonna correct them. Yeah. So I'll uh, give a link for this image uh, in the YouTube video. Please uh, do uh, remember to check out the link to see how this image has panned out uh, finally. And you can download this image also for free. Um, <coughs> every week I try to take uh, new uh, videos and I try to track uh, new uh, uh, photo shoots and add more images to uh, the library so agencies, designers, even hobbyists, bloggers can download uh, these images for their websites um, as I said it's, uh, it's free there's no copyrights involved it's creative common copyrights you can use it anywhere you want even for your commercial products um, so thanks for watching please uh, do check out my blog it's blog.pixomania.in um, here I post uh, lots of informational videos on how to uh, do stuff or things which I read online I share details about that please do follow me on twitter at uh, twitter.com slash pixomania and on facebook I am at www.facebook.com slash pixomania.in um, so I see you next week with another video which teaches you something really cool on how to do st things uh, to sell your images as stock images. Um, thanks for watching once again. Bye bye.